What's good, y'all? It's your girl, Jay. Back at you with another video. In today's video, we're going to be doing a little bit of a life update. So, first thing first, I got some topics on my iPad, pulled up on my iPad. So, that's way, that way I can kind of stay on track with what I address. And so, let's get them pulled up. Okay, so, let's see. First topic. Okay, so college. So as y'all know, I'm a senior in college. I graduate in May. It is currently October. Um, this is day three of Vlogtober. Um, make sure y'all leave me some video ideas down below and let me know if y'all enjoying these videos so far. Um, but I'm graduating in May. So right now, my current goals for college, I'll say, is to just keep doing good basically i'm so far ahead of my classes right now that my next assignment is not due until like november 1st i think because i moved so far ahead but i moved so far ahead because i knew i was going to be doing vlogtober and i wanted to give this my all so yeah that's where college is at right now as far as like other things in college um i'm hoping once i graduate to go i probably want to try to go into corporate but if i don't go into corporate I'm going well I probably will go into corporate so I'll probably go into corporate and I'll work in corporate while also still being on this YouTube grind and also this clothing brand grind like I said before um, so that's just my current like goals right now but that takes me to my next point which is the clothing brand I got some pieces from the clothing brand right here let me show you the back so this is the back of the clothing brand. This is the back of the shirt. This is the back of the thug shirt, as y'all can see. Make sure y'all leave a comment down below and let me know if this is something that you can see yourself wearing. And if not, let me know why. Not everybody gonna like it, but let me see if I got a gunner shirt. If I got a gunner shirt, I'll show y'all the gunner shirt. And this is how the gunner shirt looks. It's on the back, same thing. Got an orange X. And then this is how it looks. Yeah, blunt, blunt, blunt. So, like I said, so that's gonna, and those are the clothes I'm talking right now. So as far as like the clothing brand goes, here are my like steps that I'm taking right now. So I worked with a manufacturer for these current pieces that I have, but I do not want to work with a manufacturer anymore. So I made an investment to get a DTF printer. Well, I made like. I bought another printer, converted it to DTF, so now I can now I can print DTF transfers. And so I was kind of playing around with it the other day. And this one, this one is messed up, but y'all can kind of see like I'm making my own shirts here. So once I get that perfected, I'm using these like little transfers. I'm using these transfers. Put the design on there. Heat press it onto the shirt. I'm using a Cricut heat press. Um. And yeah, I got a whole little, and yeah, I got a whole little setup going on in here, but honestly, that's where I'm at right now. I'm working on the DTF, get the DTF set up, but I am about to go home for fall break, so I won't be working on that for a while, but um, just for a few days. But hopefully, once the DTF gets figured out, I can show y'all. I have a video made of me setting up all my DTF stuff. I just have to end that video with me getting a perfect transfer, so I'm trying to do that tomorrow after I get out of class, or... Maybe before I get out of class. I don't know, I'm not really sure. So I'm going to try to play around with that. Um, because I leave tomorrow to go home for fall break, like I said. And I'm just going home so I can go to work for a few days. I'm going to be gone for like four days, I think. So that's besides the point, though. So that's where I'm at right now with the clothing that we're in. And as far as YouTube goes, okay. So for YouTube, right now, as I can tell, I'm really focusing on Vlogtober. Um, like I said... I did what I needed to what I needed to do to be ahead and everything else so that I could focus on Vlogtober. So I got 30 videos. Well, I got 31 videos dropping. One for every day of, Vlog, of October. Right now it's October 3rd. This is day three. Make sure y'all tune into the other two days if you haven't already. Um, and that being said, yeah, that's kind of like the aspiration for YouTube right now. I really want to capitalize off any traction that I gain from doing this because I plan on doing the full 31 days. So, um, yeah, so that being said, that being said, that's my current goal. And so 
I'm about to head home. I just mentioned that I'm gonna be working on some videos with my little cousin. I'm gonna pop his channel up right here. He's hilarious. Y'all go subscribe to him. Check him out. That's my boy for real. Literally my little brother. But um, yeah, so that's the current goal for YouTube. Hopefully y'all are enjoying these Vitober videos because I'm working really hard to get them out to y'all. Um, I actually am recording this one only because the video I had planned for y'all was messing up when I was trying to import it to the editing software. So I had to knock out another video just to get that out for y'all, but still be staying tuned for those videos so I can figure out what's going on and why it's messing up like that. I'm not even sure who I have to talk to, but we gonna see. I'm not sure if it's the SD card problem, but it's got like four videos on it, so I really need that SD card to get fixed. But yeah, so we gonna figure it out tonight, and yeah, that's gonna be that for YouTube. Um, Let's talk about uh, just life in general. So as far as life right now, life is going smooth. Like I said, I'm working good in class. I'm doing straight with the clothing brand. Like my pieces just came in. As y'all seen, if you didn't see that short I posted, I posted a short right before I started recording this video. And it was literally um, me going to pick up my bulk order. Make sure y'all subscribe to the clothing brand TikTok. I meant follow, not subscribe. Make sure y'all follow the clothing brand TikTok. And um, yeah, interact over there. And make sure you leave a comment on this video. I reply to all my comments, I'm telling y'all. If I don't reply to your comment, I'm gonna like your comment at least, like bare minimum. But I just got done talking to um, one of my subscribers and he's actually a new subscriber. He literally commented some fire emojis. I was like, I appreciate it. Make sure you leave a like, let me know. You know what I'm saying? He, he was like, he was really looking forward to some more clothing brand content. Like I said, I got more clothing brand content coming as soon as I figure out this whole DTF printer thing that I could be able to show y'all and it's gonna be perfect. So that being said, that's how life is kind of going. Um, Outside of that, I mean, everything's smooth. Me and my girlfriend smooth. Everything is cool. We're about to actually hit our five-year anniversary. And so since we're about to hit five years, y'all can stay tuned for the um, How We Met video that we promised y'all a long time ago that we never got out. And so that's really it for right now. Like, life has been just life, and man. Sometimes life can get to a point where you kind of feel like you're stuck or you feel like you're doing the same thing over and over and over and over again. And it gets kind of, um, I don't know the words for it. It gets kind of unmotivating really to even just get out the bed in the morning. It's unmotivating because you know you're going to be doing the same thing. But at the end of the day, you got to remember, you got to do things you don't want to do so you can do things that you want to do. So even if you're waking up in the morning, you don't want to go to work. Not everybody wanted to go to work that morning. But you gotta go to work so that you can support your lifestyle so that you can do things that you want to do outside of work and that being said don't mean if being, if being in that nine to five or being in that job ain't what you want to be doing don't do that figure out something else work 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 but while you're working grow invest in something else you work nine to five from six to ten whenever you go to bed it needs to be working on something else so that you can get out of the nine to five if you don't want to be doing that and Y'all know I love to give y'all a little bit of motivation, a little bit of uh, free game, I like to call it, because at the end of the day, I'm going through life just like y'all going through life. I'm only 21. I actually turned 22 in a few days. Um, not a few days. It's like two weeks. My birthday is October 22nd, so y'all be staying tuned for that vlog. That's going to be my birthday vlog. I'm probably going to get tatted. I'm probably going to finish my arm for that vlog, so we're going to see. Um, yeah, y'all. Like I said, that's pretty much it as far as like life as a whole i'm trying to think if there's anything else i can really address with y'all so now that we've talked about like my current life we're going to talk about future goals and um we're going to talk about past um achievements and gratitude and reflection that's how we're going to end up the video so future goals number one hit 1000 on youtube but before I hit a, a thousand, I want to I wanna be consistent. That's my first goal, to continue being consistent, continue putting out quality content, not just content, just for fun. Um, goal number two is to get better at my thumbnails. Goal number two is get better at my thumbnails. I've really been working on my thumbnails, so y'all let me know what y'all think about that. And goal number three is to graduate. Like I said, uh, I am a first-generation college student, so it's time to graduate. 
and I got to graduate in May, six months from now. So yeah. And fourth goal is to, I would probably say, really take my time, make this clothing the brand be something that can be another source of income for me and also be what I want it to be. Don't get into something just for the money of it. Get into something because that's a passion you have. Like I use, like I told y'all, just YouTube stuff. I started YouTube a long time ago, but I wasn't making vlogs. I just make any kind of video I really feel like putting out. But now I feel like after like 2021, I started doing little vlogs on TikTok, like the day in life vlogs. And I was like, I kind of want to do some longer vlogs. And that's how I kind of got to where I'm at now to be posting vlogs like this. But it still took me a while to start that. And the thing is, you can't be scared. You can't be scared because how are you going to start anything if you keep telling yourself, oh, I'll start this day, I'll start this day. Just start. It don't take nothing. Right now, I'm recording on my phone. I have a camera, but my camera's tripping. Obviously, my videos are messed up, so I'm just going to record on this. So I'm recording on my phone right now, and you don't even have to have the newest phone. Record on whatever phone you got, because as long as you entertain and you're showing your personality, people are going to watch. So as far as like gratitude and reflection, so I want to say that, like I said, I'm grateful to be in the position that I'm in to right now academically because I really have struggled throughout my whole college career to be in a good in good standing. I, I'm always back and forth between academic probation and I think it's because I really didn't care. But now I'm, I'm like about to graduate. I'm at a point where I'm like, okay, I'm motivated to actually finish it out strong even though I didn't start it out strong. And, that, and that's one thing I want to also tell y'all. It doesn't matter how you start something, it's about how you finish. You can always turn your life around. If right if right now you're the most misbehaved kid at your school, you can turn it around next week and show everybody. You don't have to be the image that they create for you. So that's that's one thing I do want to point out to y'all. And I wanna say that I am also grateful for my health. Health is wealth, y'all. Take care of your bodies. I'm not I'm not really a person who gets sick a lot, but I know that some people are. You gotta really take care of your bodies because in this day and age, anything could be something more than what you thought it was. It could have been a cold, now you got COVID. And COVID was killing a lot of people, y'all know that. So health as well, take care of your bodies, take care of your mental, mental health is real. If you are struggling, you have any kind of issues, anything like that, I'll pop a number up right here for you. Talk to somebody get some help even if you don't know who you want to talk to talk to your favorite teacher talk to your best friend talk to your mom talk to your dad whoever you're whoever you feel comfortable talking to even if you want to talk to me dm me on instagram my instagram is on one of these corners dm me on instagram i will reply 100 percent. i'm gonna reply so that being said talk to somebody man i swear and um as far as reflection goes what do i want to reflect on for the year I want to reflect on the fact that I actually started this brand. Like it was, just, it was something I always talked about, but I never actually thought that I could do. And so now that I have it done or like kind of started, like I said, I'll show y'all right quick that the website is coming together. It really is. Let me see if I can get it opened up. With my fingerprint. In. As y'all seen before, y'all seen it in another video, probably like two videos ago. But the website was coming. The website's coming together. I got the products on there, but they're not ready yet. And like I said, I gotta go through my inventory. I gotta start doing my marketing, all of that. So that being said, y'all yeah, stay tuned for that. But outside of that reflection, I do wanna say I reflect on the fact that like, again, I've gotten so much better mentally. And I don't mean I was struggling with a mental health. I just feel like I told myself something I wanted to do and I made it happen. I wanted to start this YouTube channel, I made it happen. I wanted to start this brand, I made it happen. I invested in it. Like this printer, this printer right here that y'all see, that was a $700 printer. It's like, that's an, that's an investment, man. Always, always, always invest in yourself, especially if you feel like you can get, if you can make it pop. But I'm not gonna hold y'all no longer. This is just a little quick life update. And that being said, Hope y'all enjoyed the video. Make sure you leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Comment down some more videos I did y'all want to see for Vlogtober. I have a lot of ideas, but I'd love to take some from y'all because y'all are the ones who watch and y'all let me know what y'all want to see. DM me on Instagram if you want to. You got anything you want to say? 
and that being said, I'm out. Okay.